Hi, it's Mike Mikowski from Space and Miniature, and um, we're going to do another space model build. Uh, this one's going to be a little more, I don't know, creative, um, not just an out of the box kit. Um, if you recall, way back in my early modeling career and space uh, history interest, I was very enamored by the Russian space program. Because back in the 60s and 70s, you really weren't sure what they were doing. And, they had the, the Salyut space stations, a series of those, and uh, they were way ahead of the United States at the time. We had only done Skylab, a one-shot deal, which was very successful, of course, but the, the Soviets kept doing it into the 80s, and it evolved into the Mir program. And I had been corresponding with some guys in Europe, and collected these cool uh, Mir and Salyut drawings, and uh, put them together in uh, my space in miniature number four on Soviet spacecraft, along with a lot of Soyuz information. And I've only built some of that stuff. I built a, um, a nice Soyuz TM that could be used with, with the Salyut from the 96 scale Apollo Soyuz kit from Ravel. Um, and I did, of course, the ASTP kit some years later. And, um, and then a few years after that, built this guy. Uh, a mirror space station with a lot of detail and there's a whole video series on this and this is adapting the um, Ravel kit with the uh, photo etch add-ons from Newware but um, I've never done a Salyut and you know those are kind of cool those are very historic early on long duration stations with cold docking ports regular resupply from progress ships and in some cases what they call the TKS it's a a bigger module that was developed by a different uh, Russian um, industrial complex, I believe. Uh, but anyway, so I finally got around, you know, I should really come back and do that. I'm at the point in my modeling career where I'm uh, looking at stuff that's been in my stash forever. And, you know, okay, let's build this thing. Uh, so anyway, so what we're going to do is take that mirror kit, that snap together Ravel kit, Actually, it's the Armageddon one because it's got a bunch of extra modules, but I'm going to use the Mir core. We're going to turn that into Salyut 7. We're going to take one of the other modules, turn that into the TKS bus, let's say. And uh, my buddy Glenn Johnson at Real Space Models is going to do me a favor. He's going to make the uh, conical return capsule for me. And uh, we'll have that and we'll have a, one of his Soyuz uh, ships, which is the most accurate one out there. It's the latest version. Uh, I'll have to backdate it to a 1980s. I guess that's when this was. I'll have to look the dates up. But that's going to be the plan. Uh, and speaking of plans, that's the first thing we have to do. So I've taken the uh, drawings I had from ages ago from Dietrich Kassler. That's part of the book. And um, scanned them into my graphics software to make a good TKS drawing. A couple of different views. So I can figure out what I need to remove and add to the Ravel parts. So let's go take a look at that kit and we'll get the razor saw out and start chopping away at stuff. That's always a lot of fun. So here's the configuration we're gonna use. It's got the, uh, here it's labeled Cosmos 1443, which is how it was called at the time. We have a Salyut 7 core and we'll put a Soyuz at this end. Um, Glenn's going to make me the uh, capsule part. So we need the rest of this ship. So let's see what's in this kit. Of course, we've got uh, a mirror here, which is pretty much the same as a Salyut 7. So that'll work well. Of course, we're going to, at least for most of it, um, there's a section here in the front that was replaced by the multiple docking adapter. And I uh, haven't quite figured out how that's going to work. I have an idea here. So, so that's pretty straightforward. Uh, it turns out you're looking at these other modules and the best fit for the um, TKS turns out to be, uh, I think this one here, uh, it's got the, um, on the top, there's a uh, orbital maneuvering system engine, that's this. It's got radiators on the side, which is close, but we'll have to tweak that a little bit. And as you can see, the diameter of this end goes out far enough where we can um, just trim off the length and put the capsule here. 
and I'm not looking at this angular part, E might work for uh, the front of the uh, uh, salute forward docking. We'll have to see. I don't know that there's anything else here. I can look in my stash of parts, see if I can find uh, maybe a, a right size cylinder and um, something else to go in there. But that'll get us started. So we'll start chopping away. So here's the solar array center line on the uh, TKS module. And um, here's the kit part I'm gonna use. Looks like um, you can cut it off right at this indentation here, maybe a little above it. And then um, there, this one had solar rays coming out a little bit forward. So I marked the position here and um, scooped out a little notch and cut a piece of, uh, I think it's like eighth inch, roughly outside the anode, maybe a little skinnier, aluminum tubing that's been painted black. And, and that'll fit, oop, here we go, that'll fit in here to make a solid anchor for the solar rays. This is what I did on mirror. And then uh, that'll have a, uh, another piece of aluminum tubing slip right in. Here you go, for mounting the solar panels, which I'm gonna make from scratch. Probably cardstock or very thin, thin uh, styrene sheet. So that's first step, because before I glue this together, I've got to put any internal supports and I'll have to do the same thing on, on the uh, salute core. And um, I don't think I'm gonna need to do it uh, on this joint or the joint for the Soyuz, because um, I might just put something there to anchor it, but it's gonna be glued together as a single assembly, I think. So um, you gotta do those internal things first. All right, so there's the support super glued in. And I've capped off a couple of the old openings so I can fill those holes in. I don't know what's going to wind up there, but I think a lot of the surface detail is going to be removed and replaced with something else. But it'll give us a start. So I'm starting the slow process of stripping this down to a basic shape. Um, these thrusters are on here, but they're on this side on the TKS module. So you can see here I've started ripping this off. And I've done the one on the other side, and it leaves a little hole there. But this will all be covered with new stuff. So it's a matter of, you know, you can see the tools here. Well, maybe you can't see the tools. You know, razor saw, grinding tool, blades, chisels, just to get most of this off. Um, I got good drawings and photos of the top and the sides. I'm not sure what the bottom really looks like. I think they're just a big radiator panel on the bottom. So maybe I can just cover most of it with that. Um, so anyway, this will be slow and messy. So I'm cleaning up the uh, piece that's going to be the TKS module. There's these radiator uh, lines on, on here, coolant lines. And that doesn't exist or someplace else or really non-existent. So I've shaved them off on this side and I've started that on this side and I'm gonna take a whole bunch of this detail off. I'll leave some, but most of it's gotta go. Got the thrusters off here. It turns out it's sort of a depression there. I may or may not fill that with putty, we'll see. They're actually on the other side, so I'll have to rebuild that. But uh, it's gonna be a lot of this kind of detail work. I've also, um, back here, put, um, the core module, the cellulite module, which is still mirror, um, working on the interior supports. And so I'm gonna have a stand with a square aluminum tube, and I have to put internal supports to, uh, that they, they go into, you know, they telescope into. And I got solar panels done the same way. So there's the uh, brass square that fits around the, um, support and that'll be in here and I'll beef up the um, reinforcing for all this so it's nice and sturdy but that's a start and then we'll have to fill in the hole on the bottom so this is the kind of stuff that's going to be cleaned up also all these little nubs here those are handrails on mirror but they're just you know crude lumps on the model on 
my mirror kit, I have photo etch for all that. I don't think those exist on the Salute, but I'll have to double check see what's there. But a lot of this is all going to be shaved off. It's going to be a lot of fussy work, but we'll chop away. So I've inserted just some random chunks of um, styrene pieces that I had, different uh, channels and strip and whatever to beef up the uh, support post insert and uh, super glue that together, let that set up and uh, continuing to clean up the outside, got rid of all these uh, handrails. I got to do the bottom half. And on the bottom half, uh, you look closely at photos. These are some kind of, I think they're antennas. They're long strip things. And I'm not sure, I got to look what I did on the mirror, but um, all this has to go uh, pretty much clean that up. And I've jammed in some styrene strip to kind of fill that hole and do the rest with putty. And then this has got to be cut off and a new um, docking forward area has to be done. I've got some parts I think are about the right shape to substitute for that. So slowly cleaning this up. All this stuff is going to go. And you can see it's going here. Or it's starting to go. And just, just chop it off and sand it down. And you get something like this. But it's uh, slow and tedious. I cleaned that all off because it doesn't exist on Salute 7. Well, I got what's going to be the TKS kind of cleaned up and some of the surface taken off. So we got two Solaroid ports. I think this will be the bottom. And, um, well, actually, this will be the bottom and this will be the top. And I think soon I'm going to have to find these fuel tanks that go on here. I think I've decided there's also some on the bottom. They get covered with some thermal radiators, which I'll use some thin plastic for. So now that I got the base cleaned up, um, be working on those aspects. Similarly on the core salute module, I think I've got all the internal structure uh, reinforced for the top solar array, the bottom solar array, and the the base now, oh, something to hold this on. That's all reinforced. So I'm going to be I'm ready to glue these halves together, and. Um, then work on the seam and detailing there. I've cleaned off a lot of the external stuff. And so now I'll start adding and correcting what should be there based on, really there's not a lot of great photos, but um, it's enough at this scale to do something. So let's glue these halves together and, and continue on. Okay, it's all glued together. We're gonna saw off the front. Kind of started the process. Kind of marked it with a, um, little scribing tool and um, the old razor saw here and we'll put on a new forward end there you go and as you can see that'll uh, match up with the drawing pretty nicely and a um, piece of a Soyuz fits on here and then we got this other chunk somewhere around here, and then I'll get glued on for the cone. Continuing to clean up these parts, got a little putty on here, cleaning these seams up. See, I've cut the front off. Um, just same thing on this part's coming along pretty good, TKS. So I, I glued the kit Soyuz together, and I'm just gonna use the cylinder part. So that's cleaned up, and there's a conical section on one of the modules that's just a little narrow at the front. So I'm, I'm using this razor saw to uh, cut, oh gosh, maybe a sixteenth of an inch off the front. This also, it's just got a flat plate and it's got a dock here. So uh, that's not gonna work quite like that. It's just gonna be glued. I'm not gonna have any piping. I may reinforce it a little bit, we'll see. But, um, and you take a little off to increase, to match the diameter, increase the diameter of this conical section at the front of Salute 7. So, um, get this cut off here. I think it's solid all the way through at this position.
There we go. No, it looks like it's hollow. So that'll sit on the front of um, this. Whoops. Um, so that matches pretty close. And that's better. So that's a better match on that. So um, slowly working on the process of getting all the shapes down. So how this works is we have a Soyuz compartment. We have this piece of a Soyuz, which will go here. That makes the next section. And in front of it is this little conical shape, which now will fit on here and make the uh, front section. And we put that all together and it uh, looks about right. So there we go. So with this all assembled, cleaning up the joints still, determined that these around features here, our windows are not on the uh, cellular version. It may have been a mirror. Some of these other features are gonna have to go. Um, this is the bottom. I can leave some of those on. That's a good feature. Some of the little bumps are fine. Um, I'm working on the uh, conical section. On this surface here is a little EVA hatch. So I got a piece of tubing and I'm cutting a curve on there to match the shape of the uh, uh, adapter section. And oops, if you can see, there we go. We're going to get that curve there just right to glue on there and uh, cut a little slice off and we'll just put it right on top of that piece.